When creating your micro app, you can use tools like Sketch or an Adobe product, but you can also simply create a micro app by just using PowerPoint. And today I'm going to teach you how to do that. So within PowerPoint, you've created your different slides. It's good to note that when designing your PowerPoint, you'll have two different options in this slide size category. You have standard and widescreen. Designing it for standard is great for content that will be displayed on a tablet, while designing your PowerPoint in widescreen will be great for content that will be displayed on a desktop. What you're gonna do is export that PowerPoint into a PDF, and then once you're within tiled, you're gonna click on this plus sign right here and name your micro. From here, you have a couple different options. For PowerPoint, the best would probably be to create it for desktop and wide, or go tablet and landscape. We're gonna do tablet and landscape today and click on create micro app. Once you're inside, you're simply just gonna drag your PDF right on top of this blank page, and it's gonna to begin to process all of your files. Over here on the left-hand side, we're gonna delete this page one since we won't be needing to use it, and all of the rest of our pages are gonna follow down below. We're gonna go down and name all of them. And then we're gonna use what we like to call hotspots to link all of our pages together. And to add a hotspot, you'll come over to the tile panel and drag this hotspot tile on top of Get Started. You can resize it, and then you can link it to the following page. So we want it to lead to Y Solar. And then on Y Solar, you can add hotspots down below to link to those pages as well. Be sure to visit our Help Center to learn how to add photo galleries, videos, overlays, and much more.